Hello and welcome to A Tribe Called Cars, which, to be honest, in 2020 has been mainly A Tribe Called Trucks. But anyway, welcome to another SnowRunner video. If you haven't subscribed, then maybe you should, because yeah. I'd like to hit 20k before the end of 2020. All the 20s. Anyway, my last video was telling you that console mods are here. And they are here, you will have had some sort of download. It's not optional. So unfortunately, even though I was like, yay, they've arrived, woo! Unfortunately, I couldn't really warn you that some things are not quite perfect in, uh, in console mods land. So that's what this video is about. I'm gonna show you some footage from some modded trucks. Three of the most popular, so you will have heard of these. I think it's the Monstrosity, the IX or 9 Wrecker. I don't know. I'm going to be corrected for that one. And the Rock Crawler thing. Uh, these are actually really, really cool. I can see why they're so popular, particularly the Wrecker. However, I think one of the Wreckers is missing. But anyway, they're good fun and they seem to fit the game without being too ridiculous, except for the Monstrosity one which, I mean, you can tone it down, but <laughs> with the biggest tires, it's just so silly. But it's fun, I mean, why not? If you want to take the game seriously, you can. You can use the smaller tires or a different truck, and if you just want to mess around, which, to be honest, many of us have done a lot of the game, if not all of it, then yeah, it's nice to have new stuff to do. Now, before I get into the other stuff, I'm just going to say I'm actually contemplating... I say contemplating, there are no guarantees, but I would quite like to do a mod for SnowRunner and then I can make a video about the process and how to do it and that kind of stuff. No guarantees it will happen or will be good, but if a lot of you guys like this video and say you think it's cool, then that will help me to go for it, basically. I think it'd be quite cool. I have a couple of ideas, but anyway. One final thing, this video is sponsored by BoostGaming.com. You can go there and you can buy digital currencies for Xbox, PlayStation and various other platforms. So if you want to buy something digitally, you can buy the currency from this website and it won't be dodgy. So happy days. I think the first thing I'm going to talk about is the minus money glitch. Now what happens from what I've seen is you sell a certain truck or a certain mod attached to a truck and then unfortunately if it says minus five million you will have that deducted when you sell the truck as a whole or the part alone i believe i've tried to avoid this because i need to make videos so i i don't really want to test having minus millions of money not the best for a snowrunner youtuber or partial snowrunner youtuber basically there isn't a fix the devs are working on it they have noticed it's a problem many of you have made comments on youtube on the official bug forum suggestions basically everywhere that they need to see it so they've acknowledged it and hopefully there'll be a patch we shall see but in the meantime what i would do is if you're going to sell a truck just go through all of the mods and if there's one there that says minus five million or any minus number i would just give it a wide berth not the best. I'm sorry I can't really help you anymore with that, but unfortunately that is just the way it is. If the game thinks something's minus, it's going to deduct if there's no programming to tell it that it cannot do that or shouldn't do that, whatever. Another thing is there are trucks that were on the mod list, but they've disappeared. I believe a modded Veron was removed and I believe it's partly to do with some sort of bug with the truck but also I think the performance just didn't quite fit. So from what I've read, it's more that the truck mod was imperfect. Needs a bit of a tweak, because if they're a bit awful or annoying, or even if they just crashed the game, which is another problem with the console mods update, but anyway, then yes, it makes sense to kill it off until the mod creator can tweak it, sort things out, and then everyone gets a better experience. Because ultimately, Sony and Microsoft want to protect their platforms, and so the mods are more rigorously examined as opposed to PC, you have the freedom to, yeah, use whatever. There are pros and cons to both. But that explains why we have relatively few mods available at the moment. I think it's four pages at the time of making this video. In the Ask Me Anything Reddit thing the devs did about console mods, they said that it will be updated weekly and there should be one to two mods a week. That's pretty cool. That is a good enough selection to get you started, I think. Another problem was the no mod IO code. So to get mods, you need to sign up to the mod.io website and that involves getting a code. Now, apparently if you tried to get a code and it didn't arrive or it took a long time, that is because so many of you were keen to play SnowRunner console mods. And unfortunately, the servers were just not equipped 
to cope with the volume of traffic. So I think what was happening is it was trying to generate codes too fast, got a bit confused, lost count, I don't know, maybe was drinking under the strain. Whatever it was, it meant you didn't necessarily get a code. So I would just try again. Obviously, as the biggest wave of traffic subsides, it should become an easier thing to obtain. The crashing, well this is, if you've ever played Skyrim mods or other things, unfortunately you have something called a load order, uh, that isn't in SnowRunner, but in Skyrim some things should load before others, so you have to have a hierarchy of when they're loaded, and if that isn't right, that can affect the stability of the game. Also having multiple mods at the same time, one can conflict with the other, or a mod can simply conflict with what's already in the game, and unfortunately that can lead to a crash. So really it's a bit of a trial and error thing at the moment. The team is supposed to be vetting these, but unfortunately it's very difficult to vet every platform and every permutation and every mod and every blah blah blah. That is quite a big task. It is their job, but Corona's going on, they might have to be working remotely and not have the same level of hardware access. So yes, we have to be a little patient. The fact that console mods are here at all is a really big thing. So yeah, it's not really one step forward, two steps back. So yes, basically if you didn't have crashes, you've added something new and now you do, it's probably the last thing you added. So consider removing it or changing mods, mess around a bit, whatever. Hopefully that sorts it out. Now, if you do have any of these bugs, you are meant to report them on the official forum. It's Focus Home, which is the publisher. Just go into there. It's quite useful because you get announcements and you can see what other people are saying or if they've had the same problem as you. You can just sort of search or look around. Chances are you'll see what is going on in the forum pretty quickly. But if you want to make sure the devs haven't forgotten this bug or you just want to tell them something very specific or whatever it is, then this is a good place to do it. You could also do it on the Discord. I'd imagine they are watching the suggestions and bug reports channels on Discord quite a lot of the time, probably all of the time. In fact, probably sleepless nights. But anyway, there's also a not enough space glitch, which apparently is specific to PlayStation 4. This has been noticed. The devs responded to uh, the problem in the AMA. And so hopefully this is also patched quickly. We are getting quite close to Christmas. So various parties involved in the mod process may be going home for some turkey or just staying in because lockdown in the UK, blah, blah, blah. Depending on where you live, obviously. But yes, it could be that the Xbox process, the PlayStation process, PC, whatever it is, or even the devs or the publisher, it might take a bit more time, basically. I can't imagine they're going to want to work on Christmas Day. The cabin bug, where you needed, I think, 10 plus, I don't know, it was like a thousand cabins needed to complete the mission, which many of you are waiting on. In fact, I know a few people on my Discord, that is the last thing they need to do, as far as I'm aware, or at least one of them. But yes, it seems that that is still an issue, so yeah, hopefully that is also given a little bit of a fix. And that's the end of this video because there are various bugs and issues, but if you want to talk about them, then drop a comment and say what's happening and also put the platform. If the devs are looking, it may actually help them and it may actually help your fellow SnowRunner players. And of course, if you want to see anything particular from the land of console mods on SnowRunner, then let me know. I'll probably do a guide to getting them Probably the best mods, maybe even the worst mods, but I don't really want them. That's like kicking people that are trying. It's not really my style. But anyway, yeah, lots of things to come. Also some Cyberpunk 2077 content, which I've been madly working on. Spent a lot of time on that game. Also want to do a review and a SnowRunner year in review, because I think, yeah, it's been the first year of this game. And I've never done an official review, so we're going to talk about what the game is like, just in case you're new or want to remember some of the highs and lows. Low. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, listening, whatever it was. I shall see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.